This video will show you our Super C motorhome and what we do to set it up for the internal jobs. I definitely have the easier part of setup because I do the stuff that's inside the coach, probably takes about five minutes. Jeremy has the harder job of setting up the stuff outside and that probably takes about five to 10 minutes as well. We have a video that walks through all of the external setup and I'll link to that video below. First thing we do when we get into a spot, I guide Jeremy in, I make sure that we're level and we're doing okay and the slides have room to come out. And then I do the leveling system, which literally I just push power. I hit auto level and the rig does the rest of the work. Now we do have some Two crazy girls in the back. Well, we do have crazy girls in the back, but we also have these levels. You can see one is above there in that entryway. And then we have one that goes from left to right. So we can double check that if we feel like it's not quite reading correctly. We keep this little like guard thing here so that the dog doesn't come up because she wants to come up and snuggle and that's dangerous and the girls are already looking for food as if that's what they need to be doing right no, now we but so that's what we worry about doing um, that's the first thing and once this is level I can pull out my slides it does beep and it warns you that it's operating and working right now and you can see how it's lit up And you can hear that as it's lifting and lowering the hydraulics. And once it gets in place, you hear a big release of the air releasing and you're all set. It usually takes, I don't know, two minutes. There we go, we're level, uh, maybe even less than two minutes. So now that's good. Now I will, <laughs> the dog really wants out. But I'm going to go in. Uh, it looks like I'm level on my guys there. And um, I'll make sure the slide outs are clear and I'll slide those open. So the back slide doesn't have anything that could get in the way while we were moving. So I can extend. It should squeak like that. That's normal. just what they do. Okay, and when I get to the end, I stop hitting that. So you make sure you, you wanna go all the way out, you wanna continue, you don't wanna be stopping and going, and stopping and going, you wanna just be continued, and then make sure it goes all the way to being out. Now I have to make sure that it's clear behind. Um, I see you guys got out some fruit snacks that I don't have anything in the way, and I do. It looks like some stuff is in the way here. Oh, some hats fell down. Okay, not a big deal, but I don't want them to get pinched in my slide. So, cleared that. Those just fell down from above. And a nebulizer. Head back. Oh, get out, girls. Oh, I can't focus. Okay, so cleared that, made sure that the kids are out of the way. And so now Willie will extend our front slide. Now the front slide is not as noisy. Cause the last one broke a bit. Well, they're different slides. But the last so one did break a bit. The, the last one did break a bit, but it's not broken now. And so this slide goes out also. This is our bigger slide. It's also a nicer model. There you go. You hear it kind of click into place and that's how you know it's done. And you take your hand off the extend and I am good to go. Now um, I got to turn on. Oh, actually I don't because our hot water heater is not working. Normally that's what I would do though. Um, I don't have to worry about the water pump or anything because we're going to be hooked up to water and there's plenty of water pressure. I just heard it going off. I can hear Jeremy getting the power cord extended out there. You could hear that sound, that's what that is. And now we can unlock the fridge and unlock the doors and things like that and get ready to go.